it's official. You're damn right it's official. Look, we're standing here, aren't we? Kane and The Undertaker are once again together as one. You know, there's an old adage, Michael Cole, blood is thicker than water. And speaking of blood, Austin, July 25th, fully loaded. Your blood will flow because I'm going to make you suffer. I'm going to bust your head open and I might even drink the blood from the cut. Austin, tonight, you're going to get a small you're going to get a small sample of what Fully Loaded has in store for you. You see it, Austin? You're going to feel it. What I want! I know you know better than this. You don't touch another man's motorcycle. Now, I'm going to shoot straight with you. I'm already planning on giving you the beating of a lifetime at Judgment Day. Nashville, Tennessee in 13 days. So, before you do something really stupid, I think there's something that you might want to know. I've sent people to the hospital for giving my motorcycle a funny look. Now, how does it make me feel? Well, Kevin Kelly, let me ask you this. If you were Triple H, wouldn't you have taken the night off? you damn right you would have. You see, Triple H can take off as many nights as he wants. I'm a patient man. In fact, he can hide behind McMahon, he can hide behind his skank old lady, and he can hide behind all the police that he wants. But there's one thing that he can't hide behind. And that's the fact that WrestleMania is six days away. He can't hide from the fact that in six days, I'm going to step off in his ass. And he can't hide from the fact there ain't a damn thing that he can do about it. You see, 16 staples. 16 staples in the taste of my own blood. That didn't piss me off. What it did, it made me hungry. And the only thing that's going to stop that hunger are these soup bones right here covered with Triple H's blood. Now as far as Rock and Austin go, I understand them boys got their own issues and I can respect that. But if they're not on the same page tonight, Rock nor Austin may make it to WrestleMania. You got anything else? I didn't think so. Quite frankly, I mean, I'm not inclined to grant your request, you know. I don't have to do this. I'm not... Is, is that right? Yes, it is right. Kane. Would you show Mr. Regal what happens when you get upset? What's he gonna do, Cole? You see, when Kane gets what upset, you, man? What you doing? Kane seems to go up in flames. Now, oh, 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 okay, oh, you've got to, your tag team title match tonight against Edge and Christian. Uh huh. You're getting warmer now. Look, oh. you're getting warmer now. What, what else? What, what more do you want? I mean, I. I can't give you any more. That Kane, either Mr. Regal has a problem with his memory, or he really doesn't understand how serious you are. You better take a look. What the bloody? Sit down. Whoa! Right. Listen, if, if you manage to beat Edge and Christian tonight, you, you can have Triple H and you can have Austin. Okay? I mean, I can't do. Right. I can't do any more. Yes. You know, I knew you were a smart man, and I knew you'd see things our way. By the way, I mean, tonight, you, you, you tag team title match with Edge and Christian. It's a no disqualification match as well. You're damn right it is. Okay. Kane, what do you think? What the fuck? Tonight's triple threat match with a title shot on the line. He has no allies and he has no brother. Kane said that. Yeah, he did. Well, Kane's damn right. It's next! You see, I don't make any bones about it. I hate everyone. I hate everything. That goes for you too, big man. Hell, the fact of the matter is, one day, 
you're going to reach your hand out to me, and I'm going to stick a knife right in the middle of your heart. Whoa! But back to you, Kane. You see, he understands that. And until that day comes, he's going to absorb all the knowledge that I have. He's going to take it because it's going to bring him one step closer to greatness, hell, even immortality. Cain, you'll never be able to achieve that because you're weak and you have no killer instinct. He is laying down the law with Cain. Now that brings me to Austin. Austin, I'm not through with you by no stretch of the imagination. In fact, the next time I see you, I'm going to take this soup bone, I'm going to thrust it into your chest, and I'm going to rip your stinking heart out and eat it. Oh, man. He's demonic. And as far as everyone else in the World Wrestling Federation is concerned, I got one thought I'm going to leave you with, and that is be afraid. Be very afraid. Well, you didn't have to tell me twice. I'm a little concerned. The Undertaker. The days of scary music and lights are over. It's a time for pure, unadulterated hatred and evil. And from this day forward, the Big Show and I, we will hurt who we want. We will take what we want and we will destroy what we want until the day of Armageddon is upon us and that leaves just me and him and there's nothing anyone can do about it so I'm going to leave you with just one last thought and that is you and everyone in the World Wrestling Federation can't go straight to hell please where we We'll be waiting on you. The Undertaker. With space and opportunity. Now, I'm not selling Austin and Kane short. Hey, either one of those guys can win a world title on any given night. And then you throw Vince McMahon in the mix as a special referee. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? But I tell you what, I'm going to do what I have to do to get my shot at the WWF title. And if that means messing them boys up, Hey, so be it. You know, I've been here for a long time, 10 years, a full decade of destruction. I've seen them come, I've seen them go. But anybody who's ever decided to jump in my yard, they've regretted it. So what's that mean? Well, let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to Kane, Austin, and even McMahon. If you feel froggy, then jump. But if they try me, I will make them famous. And that's the facts. Jack. We ain't even. We ain't never gonna be even. Why? Because The Rock hit him in the head with a chair and rock bottomed his candy ass. Is that why? We ain't even. We ain't even this week. We ain't even next week. And at No Way Out, we damn sure ain't gonna be even. Because the fact uh, Hey! The Undertaker! Uh, the Undertaker! We ain't even. Ambushing the rock oh. from behind King! Well, Come once again! No, leave me, Rock! No! Oh no, we have got a chunk oh. slam on the We're all the way from even, Rock! We're all the way from even! Come here! I can bring the rocks no, back! You want it just to get your ass up here! What the hell's oh. he doing? No! You want to be on that, huh? Come there on top of that? Oh my thing. god! Give me a douche! No! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god, no! No, no! no. A tombstone! A tombstone into the roof of the limousine! What a sick! Now we just need to back up one minute and we need to get one thing straight. Nobody threatens me, Vince. Nobody. Somewhat unsettling for the 
corporate ministry. It was you say. that made the deal with Austin. That's your problem. I have a problem with Austin, and it's personal. The hell with business. At Fully Loaded, I'm going to open Austin up, and I once again will be the World Wrestling Federation champion. But I'm going to do it for me, not you. Who signs your check, pal? All right? You better think about that. Hell, I made you who you are today. You get something straight. Uh -oh. Nobody made me. Nobody owns me. And nobody sure as hell tells me what to do. Back off, dead man. Uh -oh. You put your hands on me one more time, and I'm going to split your melon just like I'm going to split Austin's. Well, there is crowd kick Austin's ass for you. Hey, boy, you need to listen up. The road to Fully Loaded and Steve Austin goes through The Undertaker. Uh, it's either way, heads or tails, the corporation wins. That's the way you want it? Well, tonight, boy, your blood is going to be on my hands tonight. So Sunday, I'm going to bathe in Austin's be within a thousand miles. Oh, no, no, no. That's where you're wrong. Now, let's get this straight right now, Vince. If he shows up here tonight, or any other night for that matter, you let him in. I want him here. You understand that? He shows up, he's in. And if you don't let him in, me and you, we're going to have major problems. You're going to end up in the same place I'm going to put him. The depths of hell, all right? DDP comes in. Because you want to be famous. Paige, you're not famous because you suck. Good God Almighty, the Undertaker right now with that motorcycle. This left could be perfect. Finish the job while you got a chance. Finish the job. <laughs> yeah, you better make it a good shot too, bitch. Oh, I'll make oh, you do it all right. I help you. Hey, what are you doing? Everything okay at home? Everything's fine. Listen, you and Hogan, you two go back a long way, don't you? Yeah, we do. You guys had a lot of matches together, didn't you? A lot of battles. Lots of battles. Lots of wars, huh? Tough wars, yeah. Yeah, but through it all, somehow or another, you two, uh... You two become friends, didn't you? Yeah, you could say that. We're, we're friends. Got that mutual respect thing going, huh? Yeah, a lot of respect. Well, I'll tell you what. I want you to take a message to your friend Hogan. I want you to tell him Dead Man Inks in the building. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna call him out to the ring. Cause me and Mr. Hogan, we got a few things that we need to get straight. You take that message to Hogan. You're dismissed, Slaughter. You come in here to wish me good luck. If that ain't the biggest crock I've ever heard. I've been here 10 years, almost 11, and I ain't even got as much as a kiss my ass out of you. And now all of a sudden you're gonna come into my dressing room and wish me luck? I don't think so. Vince, why don't you just lighten up a little bit? Why don't you tell me why you're really in here? The fact of the matter is, you're a little bit nervous tonight. You're nervous the old taker's gonna screw you over. Or maybe if it ain't Taker, it's Cain. That's what you're really all about, isn't it? Hey, big man. Vince came in to wish us luck tonight. Yeah. Good luck. Hey, Vince. I don't need any luck. 
but I think you do. You know, I warned everyone what it was like to be in the cell. I told the world that I was going to unleash the animal. And I told the world that I was going to make somebody famous. So when I got into the cell, I was at home. So I did what comes natural. I hurt people. That's what I do. I hurt people. And based upon what happened inside that cell last night, do you believe that Commissioner Mick Foley should resign here tonight? Cole, look at me. Do you think I give a damn about Mick Foley, whether he retires, quits, or gets fired? I don't give a damn about Mick Foley. You know, it is kind of ironic, though, that the man may lose his career twice over the same match. But you know what? When I look back, I don't remember one time Mick Foley being on top of the cell with me. I don't remember Mick Foley hitting me in the head with a chair last night. I believe it was all Rikishi. And I didn't see Foley throw Rikishi off the cell. It was me. And because of the pain and punishment I took, winning the title, it becomes secondary to hurting that man. And as I grabbed him by his neck and I threw him off the top of that cell, and as I watched him fall, and then as I watched him lay there motionless, you know what? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making that man suffer. And drenched in my own blood and the blood of others, I knew that I was home. But what happened to Rikishi, what happened to all those guys, is just another example. That ring, it's my yard, and I'm the big dog that runs that yard. Get in my yard, and you get hurt. The ride your ass is going to take in Hell in the Cell, you've been there before, of all people. You know what Hell in the Cell is all about, and you need to give Mick Foley a message. And that message would be, well, you know, Mr. Foley, I don't think I want to compete in Hell in the Cell. Well, you know, you need to give Mick Foley a message. What's that? You got something in your jacket. Oh, At Unforgiven, there's going to be one outcome. And that outcome is The Undertaker, once again, will be the World Wrestling Federation Champion. Correct? And there's nothing... You, you, or anybody else can do about it. It's a fact. Learn to live with it. Let's no go. doubt who's in charge of that group. Of the people. Well, then maybe you are a punk-ass bitch. Is that right? Well, why don't you punk me out then, bitch? I hope I'm not interrupting something here. But in case you two didn't notice, I just got my ass handed to me by RVD and Booker T. And where were you? Let me make something clear to you two, the three of you. It appears to me that RVD and Booker T, they're on the same page. Now the three of you, I don't know, but I hear, I've been here a long damn time and I ain't ready for my career to be over. Are you ready for yours to be over? Well, if you two, the three of you, don't get your head out of your asses, you're not going to have to worry about being fired after Survivor Series. You're going to have to worry about me beating the living crap out of all of you. We're a team, damn it. And we need to start acting like it. Do I make myself clear? We are a team, and you're crystal clear. Yeah.
for me and McMahon, we go way back. Hell, I probably know more about Vince than Vince does himself. So we kind of have an understanding. If Vince stays out of my yard, Vince won't get hurt. As far as the rematch goes, Edge and Christian, pain is the name of the game. And your point is, you're some kind of little smart aren't you? Listen, Ric Flair said, due to poor officiating, that the match never ended. So the match continued. The match continued. And I am the WWE Undisputed Champion. If that's all right with you. And if it is, can I get back to the reason why I'm here in the first place? I came to watch the end result of my handiwork. I came to see the death of Hulk Hogan and Hulkamania. If that's all right with you. Where? Yeah. What? What? You think I came here to kick your ass? I ought to kick your ass. And I was wrong, man. You hit me in the head with that pipe last night. I ought to that with me just being a man. Oh, you're a man now. I guess you think we're even, huh? No, we're not even. We're not even till I say we're even. See, I came here, I was gonna take your ass out in the lot and beat you down, man. But no, 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 I thought about it. I got something a lot better for you. On the grandest stage of them all. I want your ass in the ring at WrestleMania. We're gonna see what kind of man you are. Cause I'm gonna beat you down, and I'm gonna beat you down for the world to see. Yeah, I told you that's Monday night. No one respects you more than me. I don't need your damn respect. Then, then what are we gonna do? Wh what are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna do what I do best. I'm gonna put Austin on one side, I'm gonna put Angle on the other. I'm gonna line them up, and I'm gonna beat both their asses. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, let me tell you something. I didn't come in here for any of your half-baked pep talks. You know, I gotta, I gotta ask you, what the hell are you thinking, man? Austin, you are inviting Austin back into the WWF. Look at me, Vince. I've been here 10, almost 11 years. I stood right there beside you through everything. And now, this ball-headed, no good sewer rat, you're inviting him back. Right back into the heart of the WWF. Yeah. What the hell is that? You know, it's funny you had mentioned Monday night. Because Monday night, people seen a side of the dead man they ain't seen in a while, have they? It's a side most people don't want to see again. You know, I don't know if it was the taste of my own blood, reminding me of something I used to be, or whether it was a simple fact Kane just flat out told me. He says, man, you got to get back to doing what you do best. And you know what that is? That's kicking people's ass. Well, tonight, believe me, Kevin Kelly, it's on. Haku, Rikishi, it's first blood, my island brothers. And you know what that means? It means no strategy, no holds, no pinfalls. Uh-uh. That don't mean a thing. It's all about the blood. And them two laying in a puddle of their own blood. Looking up at us and realizing that Kane and The Undertaker, they do run the yard. Kane, why have you been siding with your brother? Because blood's thicker than water. You know, if I was you, I wouldn't pick. I suggest, young man, that we go inside and sort out your problems with Triple H before I have to do something I don't want to do. You know, I suggest you get out of my face before I do something that I want to do. You have to be willing to put your career on the line. You have to be able to take as much pain as you give out. And that just happens to be my specialty. You see, but with five other guys in there, hell. Anything can happen. Probably will. But I tell you this, when it's all said and done,
we're going to find out who the real badass is. And between me and you, you're looking at him. And tonight, in the Fatal 4-Way, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, since everybody's talking about number one contenders, let's don't forget about the old dead man. All right, who can forget you? Who can forget the American badass when it comes to number one contenders? Hey, hey wait, wait a second. Been one in the ring. Here we go. The Rock, the Undertaker King. Get it on. The big show, a bloodbath, just more proof that the competition's heating up in the tag team division. And with that statement, you've just lost all your interview privileges. Now be gone and stay gone. Now as far as Rock and Mankind are concerned, your worst fear has just come true. We have decided to exercise our right to a return title match. So if Rock and Mankind, if you two can quit trying to figure out which one of you has a set of t this surface Thursday at SmackDown, you'll answer our challenge not only to a tag title match, but a buried alive tag title oh match. Oh my gosh! God, are you kidding me? Thursday night on SmackDown? Wait, listen, listen, listen. A live match if mankind's head's already burrowed way up the rocks. Not a burrowed alive, a buried alive. So boys, if you can get your head out of each other's Find yourself a set. You'll show up Thursday at SmackDown. Hey, how you doing? Say that to me. Hey, up time, Foley. What do I owe you for? What do you owe me for? You owe me for throwing your ass 25 feet off the top of hell in a cell. Oh, you you just about killed me that night. Yeah, that may be true. But what I did was make you famous. <laughs> you did, you did. Okay, what can I do for you? This is what I want. I want to make the Angle Brothers famous, just like I made you famous. Say how? Tonight, I want a handicap match. I want to get it on. H handicap? The problem is, I'm afraid it might, might really be a handicap match. I mean, you made, a, you made a mess out of those two. Well, let me clean up my mess. Hey, hey, Taker, nobody likes seeing Kurt Angle get his butt handed to him worse than I do. But until I find out what kind of condition both those boys are in, I'm going to have to take your request under advisement. Advisement, huh? make this happen. A dead man ink? It goes into business for itself. Who in the hell is Diamond Dallas Page? Well, let me tell you who he is. He is the sorry son of a that I will beat the hell out of the first chance I get. Toe to toe, Big Show and Undertaker. Well, there he is, Big Show. You wanted him. What's going? Oh, look oh. at this. What is he? What's he? What's he saying? The Undertaker whispering something in the Big Show's ear. Look at this. Big Show a little confused. What in the world did he tell him? Now I don't know, but being said, you did a pretty good number on Paul there. <laughs> Not much sympathy for Paul Bear. Oh! But, but if you ever disrespect me like that again, I'll rip your throat out and choke you with your own tongue. Wow! And King, keep in mind. Can I withstand the charge of the Brahma Bull? What question is that? I got a question for you. What happens when you rip the balls off of a bull? And the Undertaker is not gonna go down without a fight! WWF forever!